Greetings and salutations. I'm Madison and today we are talking about jewelry. I have always had a passion for jewelry. I've been collecting it my whole life. Just the idea of being able to wear art on your person has always fascinated me. I've always enjoyed stopping into jewelry stores, taking a look at the different designs. I've been fascinated with how jewelry is made as well as how to wear jewelry. And I know quite a few of my subscribers have shown an interest in jewelry as well. So I thought it would be fun to share with you all of the new pieces that have found their way into my jewelry box this year, starting with today's sponsor, Huge Tomato Jewelry. Usually I am disappointed when a jewelry company reaches out to me because their items are so tacky, so unoriginal, and so cheap looking. However, when I was scrolling through the Huge Tomato website, I was so impressed with all of the unique designs that they had. And when I received my package, I again was so impressed with the quality. Like I said, they offer a wide variety of styles, even though they specifically like to focus on pearl jewelry. They don't just have pearl jewelry. They also have a nice range of price points. So if you are looking for something more affordable, they have affordable pieces. If you are looking for a bit more fine jewelry, a little bit more expensive, they have that as well. My first choice from Huge Tomato was this silver pearl and black obsidian pendant necklace. I specifically chose this necklace because I liked how it challenged the conventional idea of pearls and how they are worn. Pearls are frequently associated with matronliness or hyperfemininity. However, this powerful yet elegant piece is the ideal example of how versatile pearls can really be. Next, I chose this blue crystal sapphire inspired set. This three piece set reminded me of historic and iconic jewelry pieces like the Hope Diamond and Lady Diana's engagement ring. The earrings are for pierced ears, however, they were quite easy to convert into clip ons. One of the things I specifically appreciated about these beautiful pieces is how the crystals were set. Here you can see this ribcage style of setting elevates the jewelry to let the light shine through. So they will always stay beautiful and shining both in your jewelry box and when you wear them. Next we have two pairs of earrings both are a bit more casual, but perfect for everyday wear. I have these in the clip-on version, however, they do have options for both non-pierced and pierced ears. Like I said before, these would be perfect for more casual everyday wear, and I think the jade earrings would be perfect for more business attire. Both are subtle enough to not draw too much attention, yet beautiful and detailed just enough to add a little pop of style to an outfit. If you are interested in checking out Huge Tomato, I have links for all of the pieces that I picked out, as well as a 50% off discount code, which is extremely generous of them. So be sure to check all of that down in the description box below. Whether you are looking for a gift or something special for yourself, I highly recommend checking them out. My next jewelry items were all purchased off of the website Etsy. I like searching for jewelry in antique stores and real brick and mortar shops. However, Etsy has definitely been a wonderful resource for me because you can find some really unique stuff for really inexpensive prices. 
Lately, I've been wanting to develop the silver side of my jewelry collection, and over this past year, I've had quite a bit of success finding both unique silver pieces as well as some staple, basic silver jewelry to wear every day. This year I was also quite inspired by 1940s accessories and their simplistic yet bold approach to jewelry. The 1980s also took a lot of inspiration from the 1940s, so all of these pieces are from the 80s, yet they retain that classic 40s look. These earrings mix several interests of mine together. They have a bit of a southwestern look, which I like. They have that bold yet simple look of the 1940s and 1980s, and they are both gold and silver. I recently featured these in my latest video, my Winter Essentials Lookbook. So if you haven't seen that, I will be leaving a link to it up in the cards above and at the end of this video so you can see how I styled these earrings. Next we have a set that I actually put together myself. When I saw these earrings, I just had a vision of a matching brooch. So after a couple months of searching, I was finally able to find a matching brooch and put together this one-of-a-kind set.
Next we have brooches, and this year I was quite successful in finding some absolute dream pieces. Some of these I bought individually, and some of them came from a bulk lot of jewelry. Lots can be tricky, but I only buy them if I know that the majority of the pieces in the lot are going to be pieces that I will like and wear. As you will see, many of these pieces are Southwestern inspired, which is one of my favorite styles of clothing and jewelry to both collect and wear. This brooch was a gift for my birthday, and I think it exemplifies what I was talking about before, about jewelry being wearable art. The positioning and the posture, the lines of the muscles and the figure are just exquisite. And to me, these pieces are just as exciting as any art piece in a museum. Like I mentioned before, buying lots can be a little tricky because there are pieces that you may not like, and these three pieces are ones that are kind of on the chopping block for me. I may keep them or I may pass them along to someone else. I also found two Christmas brooches this year, this very unique brooch. I've never seen any brooch quite like this one with a little sleigh, a horse, a church in the background, and beautiful green fir trees. And then a cute little Lennox porcelain snowman. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know what your favorite piece was in the collection of things that I showed you today. Also, be sure to check out Huge Tomato Jewelry, and if you find something that you like, be sure to use that 50% off discount code that I have in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching.